All right, number eight on the list is a book that I am not familiar with at all. I, I don't know how I missed the boat on this character altogether. We're talking about The Crow issue one, the second appearance of The Crow. That's right. We have James O. Barr's masterpiece. We have at number eight, The Crow issue number one, the first print. This black cover is so difficult to secure in high grade, and we do have some record breakers to report on, but not before we remind the community of a trend that has absolutely taken place over the last couple quarters, and that is 80s and 90s independent comics, like the highly respected titles, getting so much attention and love that they're becoming blue chip keys. Yeah, this book is in the same vein as independent keys like Albedo Issue 2, the first appearance of Usagi Yojimbo, which just sold for 20 grand in a CGC 9.8 back in July. You have books like Ninja Turtles number 1, which had a CGC 9.4 sell for 36000 You even have Tales from the Lantern, which is a scarce collection of Bones first new strip stories, which sold for $45,000 in November. And that's a preview appearance of Bone, but we're not talking about previews versus first appearances. Actually, we will get to that in a second. But right now we're talking about The Crow, which took nine years of labor to produce, written and drawn by James O'Barr. And it was such a long time in the making because he literally had to do it in bursts. He described the process of creating these pages and writing this story like ripping open old wounds, you know, causing himself to bleed again because it was this story that was used to essentially channel his anger, frustration, and aggression after the death of his fiance. She was hit by a drunk driver. And this story of Eric Draven and the vengeance that he you know, seeks in the streets of Detroit is as close to a true story as a fictional comic story can get. The streets of Detroit were literal drawings of buildings at that time, from the graffiti on the walls to the character designs, all being individuals in James O'Barr's head, people that he knew. He took them and created adaptations of them into the pages of this story and created a masterpiece. Dang, I didn't know that, but I do know we have some record-breaking sales. That's right. We have a 9.0 once going for $500, now hitting 810. A new 9.4 record breaker, which was a previous high of $930, now going for $1,350. And that's not all. We also have the first appearance in preview in Dead World issue number 10. This is an interesting preview conversation to wrap back around here because The Crow was featured as an ad on the back page, the back cover of Dead World. And they made a variant copy of that comic book that Comic Pops actually got me for Christmas right here. And this is just one of those moments where I was so stoked to get a preview comic. And it's this very issue that saw some records broken this week. A 9.8 sale, which previous high was $550, has just hit 600 bucks. <laughs> 